Uh, is that what we're gonna call it, an addiction? Uh, that's, uh, that's probably a good way to put it. But, uh, but yeah, the guy that took me fishing the most by far was my dad. He worked for Bluebird School Buses and uh, he was a mechanical engineer. They worked four days a week, off three days a week. So he fished Friday, Saturday, Sunday, at least 50 weeks out of the year. We figured he spent 150 days a year on the water. The other side of that, mom worked for the hospital and she had to work a lot of weekends. So it wasn't even a, a choice that we had to go fishing with him on weekends. And yes, we absolutely loved it. My brother, I mean, he was into it as much as I am. My dad was the main one that took us fishing. And then, I mean, he got it from my grandfather. My grandfather was, uh, you know, more into the catfish side of things. They had a cabin on Lake Martin there at Ellick City, and uh, he kept two of those old claw-footed tubs that everybody wants these days, and uh, had two of those tubs full of red worms down in the basement at the cabin, so we could go catfishing. So yeah, we'd either catch them off the dock there, or uh, go out and anchor up and catch enough for dinner. That was usually the plan. And then the other thing we always did was, uh, went over to uh, Lake Martin jigging a spoon in the wintertime. So Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know, we'd go, my dad, my grandfather, my brother, there'd be four or five of us in the boat. And, uh, our goal at Christmas used to be to catch a thousand fish. Yeah, dad's the main one for sure. And I guess talking about dad, he's, uh, you know, he's as good as you can get and not go pro. If he had done this professionally, he'd be a, uh, you know, a David Pritz or a Larry Nixon. He was a deep water, offshore guy back before we had GPS and stuff. You know, I spent a big part of my life out there either throwing a big crankbait or dragging a Carolina rig around. And uh, so yeah, I learned how to fish deep more than shallow. I also have a mechanical engineering degree and uh, I've always said I wanted to fish, but, but yeah, I needed something to fall back on. So. Uh, so yeah, my parents made sure I got an engineering degree and I'm not sure they still wouldn't prefer I was doing some of that. So, I mean, I always said I wanted to do it. I mean, coming out of college, I wanted to do it. I graduated in 92, which the economy wasn't all that great. So it took me a year to find a job. And uh, so I actually tried to get back in, get in the bass back in 92. And uh, so anyway, I worked for a number of years in Atlanta, went to Birmingham for a while, back to Auburn. But yeah, at one point I got into a position as a uh, sales engineer and uh, they told me they were going to pay me a commission. They didn't have everything set up so they could do it. But yeah, after about two years, I was selling well over a million dollars a year. I think his exact words were, ain't no way in hell we're going to pay you that much money. So, <laughs> so uh, I turned in my two week notice right there. And, uh, so when I made the decision, we're going to do something else. And, uh, Basically, in a little over a year's period of time, I won $30,000 fishing BFLs out of my little aluminum boat. And uh, I told my wife, I told Julia, you know, if I can get in, you know, we're gonna we're gonna fish. So, uh, so yeah, we we got into FLW before we even got into the opens on the bass side. I've been doing it the last couple of years without the kids have been in school and. Uh, the last couple of years have been hard for me because Julia hadn't been there, the kids haven't been there. It's uh, it's important to me that they're they're traveling with us. And, uh, but yeah, I, anyway, I always said I wouldn't do it without them. That's I'm not looking to be a bachelor here. <laughs> kind of like my wife; she's pretty cool. <laughs> At least most of the time, anyway. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna take another year. We're gonna go play a little more. We're gonna see a lot of the country. It's it's cool for them. I mean, you want them to have that that school experience too. So we're not going. I don't see us doing this permanently, but uh, but yes, it's uh, it's amazing what it's done for them up to this point. Having Julia and the kids with me is very important. It uh, anyway, I wouldn't do it without them, honestly.